The World Health Organization estimates approximately 2 million uh, deaths every year are attributed to fiscal inactivity. A sedentary lifestyle has become a major underlying cause of death, disease and disability uh, and identified to be the, the fourth leading risk factor in global mortality. Sarah Paco has been finding out if Ghanaians in the informal sector are engaged in any physical activity at all. It's a quarter to 6 a.m. at the Makola Market, and 35-year-old Dinah, a caterer, is set to begin business. She gets to the market by 5 a.m. and leaves after 6 p.m. each day. After setting up, she sits in the scorching sun for 13 hours without taking a break. With no form of physical activity apart from stretching her hands to pick an item, Dinah could be prone to chronic diseases, according to experts. I have been doing this for ages, so my body is used to it. The situation is not peculiar to Dinah. Hundreds of traders at the Makola market in Accra do not engage in any form of exercise. They sit, eat, and lie down when tired at the same spot. I heard it is important, but if I get up, I will lose my customers. I have been told to exercise, but I'm yet to start. We are always in a hurry to make ends meet, so we just get here and sit to work. Some traders, however, believe they exercise unconsciously when they walk up to the warehouse to get an item or two for customers. Unless I get up to go and urinate or buy food, when I arrive, I go on errands with some of the onion around Osu before I finally come to settle down. Aside the unwillingness of traders to exercise, the congested nature of the market facility is also a contributory factor to the sedentary lifestyle. According to health professionals, sitting for long hours without exercising could increase one's risk to chronic health problems such as heart disease, diabetes, increased blood pressure, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol levels, obesity, and some cancers. Further probing to some health centers located in and around the market revealed that close to 30 cases of hypertension, waist and knee pains are reported daily. Medical director at the Health Net Clinic, Dr. Dennis Borte, warns traders to have a structured program for themselves to avoid long lasting effects of sedentary lifestyle. Just make that conscious effort that for every 30 minutes to one hour, you get up out of your seat and walk around and come back. You don't live all your life and say that is chasing the money and chasing the money and chasing the money. So have a structured life for yourself. And you see, the interesting is that they will do this Monday to Saturday, and then Saturday evening, Sunday morning too, then we're all going to church. They go to church, they come back, now they're coming to wash. So there's actually so much stress in your body. Hypertension is reported to be the highest killer disease currently in the country. It is expected that everyone would exercise and eat well for a healthy living. But traders in the informal sector bet to differ. Sarah Paku, TV3 News, Makola, Accra.